for the sign of Gemini, hello and welcome to my channel. So, Gemini, in the recent past, we got this beautiful sun card. Sun card that pops out and shines, it outshines all the cards in the tarot. Now, it's paired with the Three of Cups. Now, this sun card is showing that things are probably going really well for a lot of you Geminis in the recent past. Your finances, they were probably in good shape, but that doesn't mean that you were able to lose focus on what was truly important in life. And money was probably not high on that list. For some of you. I know for a lot of you it is. I know for me it is. So that's what the sun card says. It's probably not high on the list. But I know for you, a lot of you, and myself including, it is. Money's high on the list. <laughs> and um, it would have been a great time to socialize, to meet new people, get out and about. And if you were looking for a new job in the recent past, uh, it would have been right around the corner. Now, the Sun card is with Three of Cups. Now, this card is considered a card of reunions. Now, it could have been a reunion in the broadest sense, running back into or meeting up with someone or something that you've been away from for a long time. So, this is considered to be a really happy reunion. Very upbeat. It can mean that maybe you celebrated there was some type of celebration, your own or someone that you care about. Maybe celebrated a new baby, a wedding, or some type of really, really happy occasion. Because you see this Three of Cups, the card that's below the word pass. These three people, they come together and they're so happy. They're toasting their champagne and they're jumping up in the air. They don't care. They don't care they're about to land into a lake. Not at all. It's all about um, a joyous come together. So, the recent past, like I said, the Sun card and the Three of Cups, there was some type of happy get together. Could have been a return of a long lost love because that's what the Three of Cups is also about. Some type of reunion. And it brought a lot of happy to you and this person. Or whatever the reunion was, everyone was, ex they were extremely happy. Because you got Three of Cups is a happy card, and the Sun card is a happy card. So, m m picking up that you might have added sunshine to someone's life just by having this reunion. Or by acknowledging or coming together with someone. You added a lot of sunshine to this person's life. Yeah, it was a great come together. Now, that's a recent past. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the second week of August. We've got this beautiful Ace of Cups. Beautiful. It's with the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so the Ace of Cups. It's um, very positive when it comes to love, happiness, and affection. And like all the aces, it's about new beginnings. Although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. Things are looking up. People will respond to you with happiness, love, and goodwill more than usually at this time. So you'll be feeling really good about life in general. A great time to make friends. Now, it's with the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles, it points to necessary efforts. You probably will start to feel like you got a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. Just know that dedication to the task is going to be important. But if you let it work for its own sake, that can be counterproductive. So, try to be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance. No one can or should work all the time. Now, the Eight of Pentacles... It's showing a very hard work period. I don't know if you can see the card too clearly, but I can explain it to you. It's the card that's below the word present. That's the Eight of Pentacles. This man, it looks like he's probably worked all morning. 
And it's, he's working into the nighttime. He hasn't stopped. And it's raining. It's not only raining, but it's the raindrops are huge. So it, that's a heavy rain. And it looks like he's not stopping. He's continuing, continuing to work probably all throughout, all throughout the nighttime. So it's a very hard work period. And this doesn't have to be negative, but you have to be prepared for it. So just to sum it up, for the present time, Ace of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Cups, I want to say you got a new love coming in. A beautiful new love. There's going to be a lot of deep attraction, a lot of warmth, a lot of happiness, a lot of affection and love with the Ace of Cups. And this person could be the, the type that wants to work really, really hard just to make it work. Or, I get two storylines, a new love that is, um, that works a lot. It could be getting a wonderful new love, but this person has a heavy workload. Maybe they're trying to master a craft, or they really enjoy their employment. Or, this new love could really be trying to work really hard. Like I said, towards this connection and trying to master it. So it could go a couple of couple of ways, this storyline coming up for the present time. Keep in mind with the Ace of Cups showing up here, um, if you are in a relationship already, it takes a turn for the better with the Ace of Cups. A deeper level of understanding or commitment. So it could go to the next level. It could feel like an encouraging new start. If this is not someone new coming in. So keep that in mind. So it's beautiful for the present time. For love and relationships Jim and I. Yep. Really beautiful. So let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the nine of swords. And it's with the knight of cups. Now this nine of swords. It's showing that you might feel like you need to guard against feelings of anxiety. Yep. So you might need to take a look at whether or not any of that's under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. If this is the case, take a good look at it and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. There's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more, bigger, or just different than it is. So... Try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that that's where the beauty really is. So the Nine of Swords, like I said, it's about hardship, nightmares, anxiety, grief, could be depression. And it's paired with the Knight of Cups. Now the Knight of Cups, it's a very optimistic card in the tarot. It's a good card to see regardless of any question. This card, it comes with messages, though. Yeah, you see this man, he's on this huge fish, and he's charging through in the waters, coming forward. So some, if you're wondering if somebody's going to reach out, I'm here to tell you, they are. Yes, this person is coming for you. Uh, the Knight of Cups, it tells you that things are going well. You'll be feeling charged up, ready for action. It means that good news, particularly in the realm of matters of the heart. It's headed your way. Okay, so the challenge, Knight of Cups and the Nine of Swords. So you got somebody that wants to offer you a cup of love. They want to be romantic and sensitive towards you. If you're wondering if this, if someone is going to reach out, contact you, here they come. Romantic and sensitive. But it's causing you some anxiety, it looks like. For some reason, it could cause you to just, it could cause you to feel like this Knight of Swords just um, having some grief. Maybe nightmares about this person coming towards you. Now, Let's get some clarity on, on that because it's kind of vague, I know. So let's see what the outcome is. 
we got this king of swords and is with the queen of cups now the king of swords it stands for a powerful opinionated forceful type of person that's in your life he will but not always have hair on the darker end of the spectrum it could go either way you could be tempted to only think about how things affect you personally particularly when this card is not representing the actual person in your life so you might want to consider the feelings of others before you act the king of swords it's about a very forceful energy so you may not be able to get this person in your life to change his mind or to do what you want so you may need to change something major about your behavior thoughts and or expectations but don't overextend your reach now this king of swords is paired with the queen of cups which is total opposite from of the king of swords two contrast energies because the queen of cups is someone who will be very helpful to you she reminds us to bring love and compassion to our work and that's even possible if we work in a factory with objects all day rather than people things are probably better in your working world when you get this card than you're realizing just better all overall more than just work queen of cups is a very positive outlook about life relationships so the outcome queen of cups and the king of swords like i said wow two two different very different energies here this queen of cups is very nurturing it's very nurturing type healing and very supportive all about love and compassion and then you got this king of swords is considered the narcissist in the tarot uh very forceful type of energy you can't really get this person to do what you want they will overstep their bounds this person will mistreat you very forceful energy so what i'm picking up is that because i'm showing that your challenge is um facing some type of someone that wants to be romantic and sensitive towards you this person could give you mixed signals one minute they're warm like the queen of cups and the next minute they're cold mistreating you and they overstep their bounds and they're forceful and then they go back and forth all of a sudden they're loving and compassionate positive nurturing and healing and supportive so this could be why we got this anxiety card here for your challenge yeah so you're dealing with somebody that's really complex hot and then cold nice and then mean they go back and forth they switch on and off on you so i'm picking up for a lot of you gemini's that's why the anxiety is showing up here now hopefully this person that's hot and cold is hopefully it's not this new love that's coming in because the ace of cups is about possibly a new love so i'm picking up for a lot of you gemini's you're already dealing with this king of swords this very narcissistic type energy who's hot and cold they turn on and then they turn off so that's the reading that i have for you um yeah so you got some anxiety here i'm trying to see if i can read anything else into that by looking at the recent past the recent past was so great but now you got some situation coming up around mid-august where you got a new love something that's really happy a happy connection but then you got this person that's on and off good and bad so keep in mind if it's not a love connection or a person a new love interest coming in it could be a family member that's um like this king and this queen and maybe there it's a friend that's charging in and you maybe don't want to deal with them but you know they're coming they already told you they're right around the corner 
And now you realize you got to deal with this crazy energy. Sweet. And not so sweet. They just switch on and off. So just keep that. I wanted to throw that out there. Gemini. So it's not always someone new coming in being uh, for love and relationships. It could easily be a friend or a family member. So that's what I'm picking up for a lot of you Geminis also. 